We're on site today, pouring at Logan Village, uh, the southwest side of Brisbane. Uh, we're pouring out the brand new uh, Wagner's batch plant at Yatla, a uh, beautiful new plant, and we're pouring with, um, with pump action. And, and I was just checking, just spoke to the concrete pumper and asked him what these pump pressures normally sit at, and he said they normally are sitting at uh, a bit over 100 bar, um, up to about 120 bar. And, uh, and we can go in here and have a look at the pressure. It's a bit noisy, but uh, we'll have a little look at where the pressure's sitting. And you can see there, it's, uh, it's sitting only at probably about 65 bar. So 65 bar instead of, uh, instead of somewhere between 100 and 120 bar. So, and that's quite typical of what we see with, with E5 internal cure. And, um, and we see normally about a 40 to 50% reduction in pump pressure. So yeah, there's there's um, there's quite a lot of value just from the pump ability side that E5 gives. It makes a big difference. Now, there's the uh, site manager just walked past Andrew and he, he was saying to me earlier that at the crossover they did last week, the, uh, the saw cutter got there the next day and he said it was incredibly hard to cut. Just the crossover took two hours to cut um, yeah, about, about 30 square metres of concrete. So that's E5 internal cure and the effect on pump pressures. I'm Ruben Ramsey from McClay Industries. And uh, if you've got a project where you would like your concrete to be cured internally and, uh, and to improve the pump pressures, improve the, the strength of the concrete and the durability, we'd love to talk with you.